So without further ado, it's time to answer your questions. What do you think about people who have never seen Predator thinking Carl Weathers is Coney? You know, that's a sad day for this generation when someone doesn't know who Apollo Creed is. And you know what, before we get too far off topic, Coney to me, um, you know, there's a guy in Africa right now who's uh, basically a war criminal. He abuses uh, society, he's killing children, and you know what, this guy needs to go down. But here's the sad truth, you take this guy down, tomorrow two more rise up just like him. So, I don't know, you know, it, it's nice that there was a 30 minute video which by the way, I didn't watch all of it. You know, I attempted to, but then I just clicked off of it and I started watching videos of, uh, you know, the videos on YouTube where people pop big zits, you know, where the pus comes out and you can't help but think, wow, that's gross, but you can't get enough of it. Yeah, I started watching those. But anyway, to tie this back in with Carl Weathers, you know what needs to happen. Here's, here's my dream conclusion to it. You get the crew from Predator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the big Indian guy, and Carl Weathers. They all team up, you know, they're all muscle bound. They got, they have a little baby oil on, you know, it's just for uh, theatric effect. Anyway, all these guys go into the jungle, they kick this guy's ass, they take out a mini gun, a Gatlin, a flamethrower, and they send him straight to hell. And right before Arnie pulls the trigger, here's what he says. Hey, Connie, would you rather die today or live in hell? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I can't read my own handwriting. Look at this, it looks like I wrote it during an exorcism as they're trying to pull a spirit out of my body. Anyway, the question is, if you woke up next to Clint Eastwood, what would you do? <sighs> You've got two questions to ask yourself, mister. Why is Clint Eastwood in my bed? And is he wearing anything else but a pair of tube socks? Alrighty, the next question comes from Cali Critic Reviews, and he asks, which movie character do you most identify with? It was never about the money, man. It was about us against the system. It's about showing that the human spirit is still alive because everyone else is inching down the freeway in their metal coffins. Patrick Swayze from the movie Point Break. Film fool Alec asks, how did you meet Tiny Todd? <sighs> Goddamn working man can't even get a job anymore. Hey bartender, I'll take a Bloody Mary. <sighs> so what's your story, cowboy? Uh, I like this one. Um, the next one comes from Fear of Crisis. And this is probably my favorite question of the day. Can you feel it coming in the air tonight? <gasps> da -da -da -da. Boom! Alrighty, the last question comes from Zane on internet. If you could be any of the Marvel Avenger characters, who would you be? You know, I could be Iron Man. You know, I'd have a really cool suit. I could fly around all day. I'd be a billionaire uh, with a really cool goatee. But the only problem would be is I would have metal shards coming out my heart. Um, and I'm, plus I'd have to have that, that reactor thing that he keeps in his chest. And you know, I, I don't trust that. I think it would cause an infection. I'd have a weak immune system. Now I could be Thor, you know, I'd have a, a very muscular structure. I could fly around, I'd be the son of Odin. But the only bad thing is the guy's damn hair. You know, he has beautiful blonde hair and I just don't have the time or energy to condition that shit every day in the shower. You know what, damn it, I'd be Captain America because let's face it, he's the most normal looking one out of all of them. He has superhuman strength. He's got a nice comb over. So anyway, guys, I'll see you next Tuesday with an all new uh, Ask Anything and maybe I'll have something in between. Yeah, I'll have something new in between that, hopefully. Maybe, I don't know. Until then, take it easy, see you later. Thank <laughs> you.